Y'all know how we carry it. Wag 100 Podcast. Bring the hip hop culture. Yo, 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 what's up, man? It's your boy, L.A. Swag215, man, holding it down for the Swag 100 podcast. Hey, yo, man, y'all know we've been out on the scene, man, branding hip-hop culture, man, you know, finding all the greatest content for y'all, putting it on the website, putting it on our YouTube and all our social links to make sure we keep y'all entertained. So listen, man, I'm on quarantine, minding my business, enjoying time with the family, you know, working on all the content that I've been gathering up for the last past four months and decided where we're going to distribute it at, man. And then I'm scrolling down my Instagram because, you know, I participate with a lot of people on Instagram. Yeah, that's right, man. LA Swag 215 is not bougie, man. People message me. People FaceTime me. I mean, people call me, you know, just... I respond back. It don't matter if it's on Instagram, Messenger, Twitter, whatever, man. You know, so I've been on a lot of people's lives and stuff. But, you know, recently, though, I was scrolling down my timeline and I seen Lil Pump had a new song called Go. And it got this rock and roll feel to it. It's very hype and like just like out of here, right? And. From the start, I was a little startled and I was upset because I was confused because I was at a couple concerts and I was watching this one amazing artist from Philadelphia perform. He was opening up for a couple celebrities at these events that I ran into him. His name is Velcro from Philadelphia. He got a song called Go. And this was the song that caught my attention and made me, you know, want to look in more and you know get connected with him and you know start talking to him or whatever and build a relationship so like i said i scroll down instagram i see the 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 post and i'm like yo get the fuck out of here yo that's crazy fucking little pump stole fucking velcro song this shit crazy so you know real squad 215 velcro he throw up a post on instagram like Yo, I can't believe this shit. Little Pump uh, steal my song. Something in that reference. You know what I'm saying? So he goes on, you know, put a comment up about it. And it's like thousand people respond. Now, Velcro has a real serious die hard following, man. He got followers like this. Long story short, people hop in the comments. We trying to get everybody to hit DJ Academics, Hip Hop Since 1987, uh, uh, World Star, The Shade Room. So he got hundreds and hundreds of comments and, 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 and followers tagging these people. And I know for sure everybody targeted DJ Academics. Everybody trying to get DJ Academics attention because, you know, DJ Academics is more the one who do vlogs like this. This is not my repertoire, but I feel like I needed to do something about it because when they tag DJ Academics, I'm sitting back in the background like, hey, yo, this story big as shit, yo. I know DJ Academics going to hop on and talk about it. I'm going to just fall back and, you know, I'm going to just do an interview with Velcro, you know, because I have a relationship with him. Hopefully, you know, he'll let me, you know, get that, you know, uh, insight. You feel me? Boom. I wait a couple days. Nothing happened. Nobody responded. Nobody put up a post or anything about it. Well, I personally didn't see none. So, boom, I wake up. Today, I see that Velcro put up a post of a post that academics put up of Lil Pump talking about Hey, yo, he got a new banger coming out. It got this rock feel to it. It's going, he's on to something. Like, come on, my nigga. I know damn well you done seen all them people at you about 
Lil Pump stealing my man Velcro from Real Squad 215 song called Go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got respect for DJ Academic because, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he always bringing, like, real shit, you know what I mean? As far as, like, topics and stuff, you know what I mean, to the game and keeping us entertained. But... I just don't like the fact that you know people was tagging you and adding you about something, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't hop on that shit. Don't talk about don't 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 overlook that shit like that shit wasn't fucking important enough for you to fucking talk about and then you just turn around and you praise the nigga that you know just stole somebody fucking song. You know what I mean? I'm tired of y'all motherfucking industry niggas coming to fucking Philly, sending y'all motherfucking A and R culture vultures, you know what I'm saying? To steal motherfuckers, pure talent, songs, fucking content, musical motherfucking ideas. Y'all stealing fucking dance moves. Y'all stealing all types of shit from the Philadelphia hip hop culture, man. And that shit gotta fucking stop. So I'm calling out everybody, man. Hip hop since 1987, world star hip hop, the Shade Room, 24K mixtape. And any other goddamn website out here, man, that covers stories like this, I'm calling y'all out, man, to blow this shit up, man, and let everybody know that Little Pump song, Go, is fraudulent. He fucking stole this shit from my man Velcro from Real Squad 215. You know what I'm saying? And y'all hearing it first right here, man. Swag 100 Podcast, LA Swag 215. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all share this video. Make sure y'all comment below. Make sure y'all add everybody, man. World Star Hip Hop. DJ Academics. Hip Hop since 1987. In the shade room. And make sure y'all hashtag Swag 100 Podcast. Swag! Y'all know how we carry it. Swag 100 Podcast. Brandon Hip Hop Culture.